Hiya, my name is Charlotte Church and I'm sat in Cardiff in my back garden and it's Sunday. Happy Sunday. Uh, I just wanted to uh, do a little video to encourage people who haven't registered to vote to vote. I understand that it's another general election. Politics is unbelievably tiresome, especially around the time of an election. Um, I myself, um, the first time I ever voted was two years ago. Um, before that I'd never registered and never bothered to vote because I thought that they were all the same, they were all liars, um, it didn't make much of a difference anyway, um, and it didn't really, it had nothing to do with me. Um, and the reason that changed is because I started to understand more about things like the education system and the NHS and whether it's, you know, your bin day of your local council, whatever it is, the government decisions affect everything to do with our lives um, and so yeah I just wanted to um, say please register to vote one of the demographics that votes least is, is women 18 to 30 so really <laughs> wanted to speak to the girls and get the girls to register um, whether you've got kids um, and, and you're worried about the education system um, I think a lot of people know where I'm coming from uh, in terms of um, my, my political, where my political thoughts are, um, and generally that's with the left wing. I know lots of people have got a problem with Jeremy Corbyn. I think it's difficult to see the wood for the trees with Jeremy Corbyn because there has been so much propaganda about him in the press, even with the BBC. The BBC bias against Jeremy Corbyn is shocking. Um, but I think he's definitely better than Theresa May. And I think that for many different reasons, one of the main things I think that will happen if the Tories get in again is I think our NHS will be systematically dismantled and sold off. Theresa May's already said that um, or she, w or she wouldn't rule out that it would be part of, um, of a trade deal with Trump, um, that we wouldn't be selling off parts of our NHS to, to uh, American private companies. And of course, the way that he that's headed is, is into private health care and insurance and people having to pay for their for their health care. Um, and the one thing I want to say about the NHS is that it's always um, put across like it's, uh, you're, we're so lucky to have the NHS. And of course we are. I think it's, it's pretty much the best health care um, of anywhere in the world. Um, our NHS is an amazing asset, but also it's not free. We've paid for it all of our lives. So did our parents and so did our grandparents. And they are the people who have worked in these institutions, whether it's the NHS, whether it's our schools, all of our uh, civil service, civil service um, has been built and made um, by our families who have worked their tabs off for decades. So this isn't something that we're lucky to have. This isn't free. This is something that we've built. Um, and I'll be damned if... Uh, <laughs> if some corporations um, who under the Tories are so loosely regulated um, because they believe in free market capitalism, you know, and of course, you know, uh, there's, we need a strong economy and strong and stable and all of this nonsense that Theresa May goes on about. Um, but a corporation isn't going to protect you. A corporation is only interested in their profit margin. And that's not going to include whether you can pay your health care or whether your nana can or whatever it might be. I think, essentially, the differences between the right and the left wing and the, you know, the most um, obvious examples of that are conservatives and Labour is that with conservatism, they're looking at um, shrinking the state, having a small state. So there's you know less public money put into... Um, all of our big uh, public institutions like schools and like like healthcare. The idea is is that everybody can be aspirational no matter where you're born. You can pull yourselves up by the bootstraps and you can make something of yourself and then therefore you should be able to pay for um, everything to do with your family um, and yourself. Uh, but of course, the way I see the world and what I, life has taught me so far is that it doesn't always work like that. Um, life puts things in your path which are completely out of the ordinary, completely unexpected, and it's how you react to those sort of things. And with left-wing parties and with Labour, um, it's about having a safety net for those things when... Maybe somebody in your family falls ill and you have to care for them. Maybe you have an accident yourself or you fall ill. All manner of things can happen. Maybe you have a baby, whatever it may be. 
and Labour looks after workers and workers' rights. This whole idea that Theresa May is going on about, that they're the party of the workers um, and they're the party of working people, is nonsense. It's my dog, Selma. <laughs> um, it's nonsense. The Conservatives have never looked after working people and they're not about to start now. They're only saying things like this because they want your vote. Um, so whilst I know that Jeremy Corbyn isn't seen as a very popular figure, I mean, of course, there are other people to vote for. I'm not saying go out and vote for Labour. I'm saying I'm going to go out and vote for Labour because I think that's the best chance of getting rid of the Tories. And for me, getting rid of the Tories is the most important thing because what Theresa May is doing is uh, finishing off Margaret Thatcher's work. Um, that's how I can see it. And... The idea that people who have been, you know, Labour supporters all their lives are now going, I'm a, I've always been a Labour supporter, but I don't like this Jeremy Corbyn guy, so I'm going to vote Tory, is, um, is shocking on so many levels. But then also I understand because... <laughs> I understand because... Um, because of how constant the bombardment is... Um, of, of the press um, in terms of its negativity with Corbyn. Um, there can be a different way. There is a way where we can try and look after everybody in society. You know, poverty in this country has gone through the roof since the Tories have been in charge. Um, and we're the fifth richest country in the world. Children are going hungry. This isn't an acceptable state of affairs. So I would implore you to please register to vote um, and then vote in the election. Um, as I said, I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. I'm going to vote for Labour. Um, but vote tactically, vote, vote Greens, vote Lib Dems. But please don't vote Tory. <laughs>